All right, so we're done with our first video here. Uh, we're done with the first video again here. Um, this is our mechanical drawing. Uh, next here, we're going to focus on the spline that goes over here. So let's take a look at this on our document here. Um, so this spline here, you can see these little tidbits here that pop out. Uh, a machinist would need to machine those along these edges right here. And they're also going to be machining a uh, tolerance level uh, between 1.205 and 1.2. We're going to focus on this 1.2 for right now. Um, and that is called a limit, okay, a limit for mechanical drawings. And this here, you can focus on here, is that internal circle. So we're going to start by drawing this internal circle right here at a diameter of 1.2. We're going to focus on that bottom, bottom limit right now. So back here on our drawing, uh, I'm actually going to switch to my center layer right now. And I'm going to draw a circle, again, at, from the center point here at a diameter of 1.2 like so. And then looking back at my drawing next here, uh, I'm going to draw the internal circle at a diameter of 1.35 and the external circle at a diameter of 1.5. So internal at 1.35 and then 1.5. So again here C, this is a diameter of 1.35 and then the next one here C and this is the diameter of 1.5, diameter first here. All right, then I'm going to change this external one and internal one here. I'm going to match, actually just match properties, match peer prop, and then I can select my source object. I want to match this object layer here, and then I'm going right here to match this and that, like so. Okay, then next here, we're going to look at our view up top here, so this detail view. And this is what we're going to be drawing here in a few minutes. But with the detail view, this is just showing the peak of that spline right there. And it's showing you the distance here. So we have across, we're going to focus on this bottom limit here, 0.233. But we need to divide 0.233 by 2 to figure out how far we're going to offset the center line from right to the right and then back to the left here. So let me open my calculator up here. Okay, and on our calculator, okay, we're going to divide a 0.233 divided by 2, and that gives me 0.1165. So back on our drawing here, I'm going to take this here, I'm going to offset this, O for offset, and then 0.1165, enter, boom. And then same way to the left here. And then I can zoom in on this area right here, because this is where we're going to be rotating these two objects around right here to create our spline. And now I'm going to use my rotate command, RO for rotate. You can also find it up here under modify, RO for rotate, select my source object. And I want to select that object there, hit space or enter, specify my base point. We're going to do this here at negative 15, and I'll show you why here in a second. So negative 15, like so. If I go back here, we're just splitting the 30 degrees in half here. So this here is negative 15. This is going to be positive 15. Okay, next one here, again, rotate. Okay, specify my object. And then I want to specify the base point, that center point there. And then I want to rotate the 15 degrees, like so. Then I'm going to change these right now, just so I can see them a bit better, and I'm going to change them to my object layer, like so. And then I'm going to trim these out. So TR for trim, and I want to get rid of that, I want to get rid of that, and I want to get rid of this, this piece here, and this piece there. And then I can just go ahead and select these, delete these, or erase these here, and then these two parts right here. I want to leave that center line there right now. Cool. All right, now I have the edge of one spline. What we're going to do with this here, we're going to use our polar array tool. So I'm going to select these two pieces here. And then come on up to the polar array, which we've used a couple times. Polar array, specify the center point right here. And then if you count on our drawing here, we're going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's going nine times around the edge there. That's fine. So then up here, items number nine. 
and then back on your drawing, escape, close it out here. Now, the fun part here, you gotta trim everything out here to make this look fancy. So, looking at my drawing, I wanna get rid of this top part here, this internal part, just going around the edge here, and you're gonna trim out the drawing. And make sure you don't miss anything here, because if you miss something, it might mess up your future part. Okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. This here. Right there. I'm just gonna do the outside first to make sure I don't miss this here. So let's just do outside. And start the lag when I'm recording. Hit lags a little bit here, and then internals, internals, internal, 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 and there we go. That looks good. Okay, and then uh, make sure you save it. Make sure you don't lose what you've been working on here. Save that file. Hey, that looks good. And let's double check here and make sure we're not missing anything before we go on to one last feature here on this video. So that looks good. We're not gonna do dimensions yet. We're gonna do the detailed view in our next video here. But I think we have it all on this video. Uh, one last thing we wanna add on here is this distance here we forgot in our first video. Um, so this mechanical edge here is actually a bit thinner than the rest of it, you can see that this edge is actually living right down here. Um, so in this edge right here, we're gonna diameter of 0.5. So we're gonna offset this here, a okay. diameter of, sorry, not diameter of 0.5, distance of 0.5. So offset and 0.5. And then I wanna offset this line, this line here, this line here, and this line there. And then I can trim all these out here. So trim these edges out so it looks good. Oh, I'm gonna get rid of that line. Trim, 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 trim and a couple more here. Uh, once those are trimmed out, um, then you want to save your drawing um, and remove it on the next video um, for our, I think we're going to do our detailed view next. So we're looking at this view up top here, this detailed view without the dimensions. All right, there we go. Save it.